So now that we have Twitter, Facebook, and Google, and a, a lot of other things going on in our social software sphere, there's companies that come along that are trying to build a unified inbox or a unified dashboard. And so far, those have not been successful because they bring too much noise into your view. Well, Engageo figured out how to get just the good stuff, and we're going to see what they're doing right now. Who are you? I'm William Mugayar. I'm the CEO founder of Engageo, and this is my second startup. First one was Equentia, a news aggregation site. And now we're doing an inbox for social conversations and a social conversations network. Cool. And who needs a social conversation inbox? Well, a lot of people are on the networks, on, the, on social networks, on commenting blogs. Everybody is discussing. Everybody is conversing with each other. But as you, as you said, th there's a lot of noise. And we're focusing on the conversational aspect. So when you look at the whole spectrum of the social gesturing in the social web space, because I don't like to call it social media, I like to say social web. Social web is more encompassing than just, than just social media. So you have the liking and the sharing, and these were okay to take some of the noise out. But there's another level of social gesturing that's higher than that, and it's the commenting, and it's the conversational space, not just on the blogs, but also in social networks. Yeah. If I'm responding to you, I'm more engaged with you. And so that, that engagement means more. Uh, I spent more than just one second to click on one like or one share. So I'm more committed. And, and we, be, we believe that behind every comment, there is an implicit link to a person. Yeah. So, so this is for uh, social media addicts like me who are on Google Plus and Facebook and Foursquare and Twitter. Uh, uh, my dad, I don't think, <laughs> is going to care about this because he only has 10 friends on Facebook. He's, He's not using this stuff very, very well. Well, yeah, yeah, yes and no. Yes and no. Because we made the product look like Gmail. This was one of the first design criteria. Uh, when, I was, uh, when I had the idea a few months ago, I called Fre uh, Fred Wilson, and he liked, it. he liked the idea. He said, do it. He said, make it look like Gmail. And that's how we started. Mm -hmm. And so we made it look like Gmail. So somebody like your dad is probably used to uh, Gmail. Does he... Mm -hmm. Okay, so we, we bring the social media into a Gmail environment. So if they can uh, compose a Gmail uh, message, we give them a compose function that looks like a Gmail compose, but he would be sending you a tweet, for example, from the Gmail lookalike inbox. Yeah. So it's very natural, and I was told that people that were n did not take to social media will take it because now we brought social media into the inbox, and actually we just we just announced a, a Gmail extension yeah. that works on Chrome, and it will bring the inbox right into your Gmail. So you just flip-flop between your uh, inbox of emails and your inbox of social conversations. Yeah, so uh, the problem is who needs this? You know, and that's where I think you're gonna get pushback. Is, is it for the addict like me who, you know, I, I, I bought three huge screens to deal with my addiction, right. right? I got Google Plus, I got Facebook, I got Twitter, I got Salesforce Chatter, I got uh, Quora, I got all the social media in front of me, so I don't need a combined inbox. I go one screen, one screen, one screen. My dad doesn't have three screens, right? right. But he's not into this stuff. He doesn't care that much. So I, I, I wonder uh, how you're gonna, uh, who is this for? Okay, well, th there are lots of people in the middle. You yeah. probably described two extreme cases, you and your dad. Um, look at Discuss, for example, as a platform. They have over 70 million users yeah. uh, and, and growing. The whole commenting space is growing because people are commenting online. There's a lot more online advocacy online. Yeah. Look what happened with Pipa and, and Sopa. They were defeated online. They were defeated in the blogosphere, in the comment sphere of influential blogs on Facebook. So people are becoming more active in the social uh, in the social settings and the online settings so they are interacting with each other and they are making laws change so uh, if you're an average person yeah. you're probably uh, doing two to five of these interactions per day and you're really at the mercy of the email notifications yeah. but then you end up losing them and then you know you don't you forget and one of the first things that users are, are, are tell us when they go into the uh, engage your inbox they say wow uh, I, I didn't know that I missed this yeah. And now they don't miss things anymore. So you don't have to be dependent on the notifications. You go there when you want to. 
Yeah. See, with, with email, you go to email because you have to. But with a conversational inbox, you go when you want to. It's more fun. Yeah. When I want to take a break from my, from my day, I, I go to my uh, Engage Your Inbox, and I respond to uh, people that have responded back to me, and it's very satisfying. Uh, it's, it's engaging. Yeah. Uh, I'm not doing it all day long, like you probably are doing it sometimes all day long. Yeah. But it's, 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 a, it's a level of, of uh, satisfaction. What does that look like? What, you know, when I get into Engage Your first of all, I add my Facebook, my Twitter, my Foursquare, my... Yes. What, what other services are? Uh, yeah, for, we have all the, the, the top four, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Google Plus, uh, and uh, Google, uh, and uh, uh, the, LinkedIn. This LinkedIn, obviously, uh, Discuss, uh, Foursquare, uh, uh, and we're working on adding a lot more. Uh, uh, that are, we're gonna add Live Fire, uh, we're gonna add uh, specialized networks like Stock Twits and uh, Angel.co, okay. because everybody's getting notifications from uh, all over the place. Uh, we're going to add Yelp. Somebody was uh, yesterday in the user voice were saying, why don't you add Yelp? Because you, put, you place comments everywhere. So the onboarding process takes literally like 30 seconds. You just connect your accounts, you authenticate them, yeah. and then boom, within a few seconds, we start to pull in uh, those messages that had a reply to you, and you see it like an inbox, exactly like Gmail. The first uh, impression that uh, users have when they see it, they say, wow, it looks like Gmail. Yeah. And my answer is, yeah, we made it on purpose because we wanted to give this familiar look to the users. And also, just in case Google has any ideas for acquisitions, it'll be very easy yeah. in terms of integration. Well, we expect <laughs> uh, uh, Google uh, is going to integrate Google stuff together, right? So Gmail and Google Plus will be integrated, but you're integrating Facebook and Twitter and, exactly. and all these other things. We're, we're neutral. We, we don't care, really. We take care of the user. We take care of you, of your mess. And we want to make your life a little bit easier or more productive. So you don't have to spend uh, an hour or two. If you can spend three times five minutes per day, then you do that. Yeah. Uh, take me around the dashboard. On the right side, you show a lot of stuff. What, 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 what do you see on the dashboard? Yeah, in the, okay. On the right-hand side, you see the, uh, the articles, uh, the posts, and the Google Plus posts, and uh, all of the, the content where your friends are commenting. So this becomes something that you go to every day, and you see, oh, where are my friends commenting? Let me go and comment in those same places. Yeah. And actually, we send you an email at 8 o'clock in, in the morning to tell you, hey, your friends are commenting in these places. Go and comment there and stalk them or reply to them. Yeah. And then below that, we have the top sites. So we continuously see what we're doing. We are, uh, com we are uh, composing the interacting, the intera your, your interaction graph. Yeah. We know where you're commenting, with whom, how often, about what, and where. That is a new kind of interaction graph that is very neutral. Yeah. It is network agnostic because it crosses boundaries uh, to all of them. So back to the dashboard, below that is the sites, uh, and then below that is the links that get passed. A lot of people share a lot of links in conversations, and you say, oh, I wanna go back and see what was that link that somebody shared that was really great. So we show you all of that. But then the main part, the main thing in the middle is the stream. Yeah. It's the stream of where your friends are having conversations. It's not everything they are liking and sharing and putting out there. It's only if there's a conversation. If they put a tweet that nobody has, nobody responds to, we're not going to show it to you. Got Until it. somebody responds to something, and then you're going to see it. And then what users are doing now, they are starting their day with the dashboard because it's new places to discover. It's new stuff that's coming down, and it has a real-time update, same as Twitter, same as Discuss. When new conversations come in, we'll just pop up the number, and you just click on it, and you push us down, and then it's almost a bit like a friend feed, yeah. but a little bit more strict in terms of the yeah, conversation. Friend feed was very noisy because it brought everything in, and all the tweets, all, and it was in real time, so it yeah, scrolled down the it was page. Crazy when they yeah. they made it go like fast, and and uh, so this is kind of um, a friend feed on a slower motion, yeah. for for the for the more normal normal average kind of usage. Uh, and, and you'll see a, uh, a mix. Uh, you'll see a couple of conversations from Google+, Plus, another one from Facebook, another two from Twitter, another one from a blog post. So it's very varied. It's really the unified view of, of what is going on in the conversation space around you. Yeah. I haven't s yet seen any ads. Uh, uh, do you have any plans for monetization yet, or, or are you d playing the Instagram game? Oh, we'll figure that out after well, we get 50 million users. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you, you have to say a bit of, of course. 
Okay, the monetization strategy is dependent on having a lot of users. Yeah. Now, that said, I'm not going to avoid it, obviously. So we need, we, need, we need a lot of users too, so we can make it happen. One of the ideas is, again, if I take a page from what Google, what Gmail is doing, you know those ads on top of your Gmail inbox? I can drop these in the inbox, as, as uh, like take them from the Google ad space and, and do it there. Uh, another monetization uh, plan that we have, you know, if you think about it, what we're doing now is we are indexing a whole bunch of comments and conversations across the whole universe. Yeah. Nobody's done that yet. I think Backtype tried to do that, uh, but Twitter bought them, and I think they were trying to do too much. We're doing it from the bottom up. Every time that you connect, I start to index your conversations. Got it. Now, uh, what if I give you a global search on conversations? Already, I can give you, like every user has searched for their own conversation. So you can search your, your, the whole history of your conversation. Yeah. And you can see the one-on-one -on -one interactions between just you and me. Yeah. Suppose you're interviewing somebody next week or you just got to know somebody new. You can go and click find them and then we will show you the interactions between you and them because we're all about one-on-one -on -one okay. relationships. Across the networks, if you had two interactions on Twitter, three on Google+, another one on Facebook, we put it all together into one place. Yeah. So back to the search, what if now we start to give you a global search? Uh, and then uh, suppose you're a company, you're, you're listening to who wants to buy something. Uh, maybe somebody's job is to blog on uh, wine in New York. Yeah. So you type in wine New York, and we tell you who are the top people that are blogging about or discussing that topic in New York and where they are doing that. So if you're a community manager, your job is to go and make some conversations. You hone in right in there that day, what it just happened, and you, you, do, you do your job. Interesting. So this is going to be good for a social media team or social media manager who wants to see everything discussed. Like at, at Rackspace, we have that, or Dell has that. Exactly. Right? Yeah, we're, we're not, but again, we're not doing like the Hootsuite and the others that are giving you everything. It's really the conversation space. Yeah. And the community manager. Which is really the important thing. Exactly. Anyway. It's when there's engagement. Because yeah. one thing we, and we believed in very early on is that I wanted to focus on engagement, like real engagement. Not engagement in a, I mean, people use the word engagement in a light manner, but yeah. no, we take it seriously. There has to be a reply, there has to be a response, and that is engagement. So for the community managers and the brand managers, uh, we've just added now multiple accounts. So you can add an unlimited number of Twitter accounts, of LinkedIn accounts, of Google Plus accounts, uh, Discuss, the same way. I mean, I wanted this for myself because I, I wanted to monitor my uh, Twitter mentions, my Twitter conversations, yeah. WMogayar, and engage you. And now I can do it all into one inbox. And that when you sense. respond, you can de decide from where you respond to. Got it. So you can get it from multiple places and respond from other places as well. So that's going to open up a lot of uh, users uh, for us that are business users. Got it. Uh, how are you guys funded? Uh, what, what's, what state is the company in? Uh, yeah, we're, 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 we're barely six months old. This was a very, very quick ramp up. Uh, we did an MVP, a minimum viable product, in literally eight weeks. And then uh, a month later, we, uh, we, we were launched on Fred Wilson's blog, actually. And then a month after that, we had a seed, seed round. Uh, we closed the seed round of financing in, ja in January. Uh, we have six investors, three in the US and three in Canada. Who are they? Uh, Fred Wilson is one of them. Uh, we have Bullpen Capital, and we have Michael Evaditi in out of New York. And in Canada, we have uh, Row Canada, and we have Real Ventures and Extreme Venture Partners. Oh, very cool. Um, uh, tell me about building this kind of company because a lot of, uh, I think there's going to be more and more social companies, companies that do something with the Facebook and Twitter streams, do mix them in some way, filter them in some way, and then do something with them. Right. Or you know, even Etsy, right, has a gift guide that they talk to Facebook to pull likes out of Facebook. So th there's, I think social is going to be important. Not a lot of companies, maybe not every company, but almost every company. Yes. What was what's the infrastructure underneath this like, and and what what was the challenge of building this? Well, I mean, the infrastructure, uh, the our, our stack uh, is. Uh, is the following. We were a Ruby, Ruby on Rails shop because our heritage was uh, Equentia and we built Equentia on Ruby on Rails. And then we use Solar, uh, S-O-L-R, for indexing as yeah. an indexing engine. It's a very robust indexing engine. Yeah. And then MySQL for the database. And to get going, we use the, the Twitter framework uh, uh, Bootstrap API. Yeah. So what you see in the UI there was li really a V1. Uh, we're just in the process now of, re of revamping completely the UI uh, to take it to the next level. Uh, and, and then uh, th that's it basically, these are the components. Interesting. And then we, we have, uh, we everything is hosted uh, 
uh, on, on the cloud. So we, we have uh, a scalable architecture. We can uh, open up uh, different uh, uh, different servers to, to listen in, to, to get more more contents with our spikes, basically. Uh, uh, and and then we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Very cool. So, yeah. It's, it's interesting because uh, mixing these streams in real time is, uh, has got to be a, an interesting challenge, right? Well, yeah, I mean, we're, we're always like one step ahead, not more than one step ahead of the scalability, because if you, if you get too ahead of yourselves, then you're trying to solve a problem that you don't have yet. Yeah. And so we're just, uh, just being very, very nimble, very agile. Uh, I have a small team, and, uh, and they are experienced. I have a great CTO that has done a lot of that stuff before. Uh, and uh, we're hiring as well. We're hiring back-end engineer and, uh, and a UI person and, and so on. And uh, I have an office in New York yep. and in San Francisco. I have space at the Rocket Space here. Yep. Uh, and Just around the corner. Exactly, at the General Assembly uh, in New York. Yep. So although I'm based in Toronto, I'm spending a lot of time in the U.S. Uh, so Toronto is just an address because the market is in the U.S. And, cool. and you have to be smart about uh, going where your market is. Yep, that's true. Okay. That's where the social media step is happening. Yeah. Um, I think we covered pretty much everything. Thanks, thanks for coming in and showing it to me and getting me on it because it's a pretty interesting system. Uh, where do we learn more about it? Uh, go to uh, the, uh, the website, uh, engage.io or engageio.com. Twitter is engageio. Uh, and then I, I blog, uh, blog.engageio.com. Uh, and also we're launching, uh, we have the uh, state of the universe uh, 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 on the social conversations. And we're going to announce that at uh, Blog World. I'm going to see you there yep. at Blog World in um, early June Very cool. in New York. Thank and you so much. Be great. Thanks. Okay. Sure. <laughs>